Both Sioux Falls health systems are giving patients plasma transfusions containing antibodies from the blood of people who have recovered from coronavirus. Kelloland's Angela Kennecke spoke with one of the first local plasma donors. 38-year-old Karen Yale is a busy working mom of four. With children ranging in age from six months to seven, she didn't have time for COVID-19. Last month, she thought she was suffering from seasonal allergies until the cough came on. And the fits would last a good three to five minutes where I just couldn't catch my breath and I'd keep coughing and I couldn't stand up straight. Um, my back muscles were sore, just so much coughing. Karen doesn't know how she caught the virus. She had been social distancing with her children. Now her biggest fear was giving it to her family. At first, I was mostly scared that my husband would catch it because I needed him to take care of the kids. <laughs> Karen was quarantined from her family for five days. Her seven-year-old shoved Clorox wipes and little notes like this one, here's a snack, under her door. However, she still wanted to nurse her baby, hoping her breast milk may contain antibodies. Doctors told her to be sure to wear a mask. The gentleman that called me from the Department of Health had one of his colleagues drop off an envelope full of masks to my home mailbox. That meant a lot to me. I thought that was really cool. Fortunately, no one else in the family has shown any symptoms, and Karen is now back to normal and back at work at her administrative job at Avera. When she heard about the opportunity for people who have recovered to donate plasma, she jumped at the chance. All four of my units were going into a patient. Avera has now used donated plasma from recovered patients to treat 34 people in the hospital. Five were discharged after getting it, plus those in intensive care seem to be doing well. Typically, it takes about three to five days for the plasma's uh, maximum benefit to be seen, where the antibodies in the plasma neutralize the virus. So you're optimistic here. You feel pretty optimistic? Yeah, we're seeing res uh, real, real results here, so yes. Karen says it's the most meaningful way she can give back. It is a way to be grateful. I'm super grateful that I didn't get sicker than I did. And so after having recovered, you know, if I can help somebody else feel that grateful, then I am down 100%. It was, I'm, I'm really, really lucky. Karen says it was not a difficult process and she can't wait to be able to donate again. The soonest she can do that is May 4th. If you've recovered from COVID-19 and you're interested in donating, we've put information for you on this story on kebbleman.com. What a selfless gift. Good for her.